Hello everyone and welcome to Plus Equal. In this really short tutorial, I will teach you how to create a, an invisible wall. So for that we are using our rollable template right here. And if I press play, you can see that I've created some walls in this game. And when I hit the wall, I can't go through. So let me show you how can you create an invisible wall, like many games do. Our first option is to create a new game object, cube, and let's assign it to this side right here. Let's push this up in a way that uh, we can't go through it. Okay. Okay, seems cool. Uh, so, if I want an invisible wall right here, I can pass through here, but not directly into this area, right? This invisible box will be more or less between these two points right here. And all you need to do, really, is to disable the mesh render. So, if I disable this, now we'll have the same cube with a collision, uh, but this time it's not rendering it. And so it's a, an invisible wall, really. So if I press play, if I try to go here close to these two objects, I can't. There is an invisible wall closing me right here. But if I go around somewhere here, I can go. I can pass through it, but not back this time. So this is how you create an invisible wall. I created a new cube, but I could do it also here in my other meshes that are already in the scene. Just select them and take out the mesh render. They will become invisible, but you will still be able to see the outline of the collider. So that's really it for this simple tutorial. I hope this helps some of you, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you a lot for watching. I'll see you there.